Hello everybody, I'm your host, Eric Bird here at StopStrugglingNow.com And today, I came out the store at Walgreens. What do I see? Walgreens now has a credit card? This is getting crazy, but we're going to talk about a fintech today. Sable, that's the one we're going to talk about. No credit check, no hard inquiry, no nothing. And you can start out with a normal checking account and get a secured card for guess what? $10 and start it off and then they report. We're going to talk about it and welcome to Fosse Optics. Check. Stop struggling now. Gear. Check. And please like, subscribe, and click the bell below so you get the latest updates. Now, let's get to it. see we're on the stop struggling now youtube channel page and i want to thank you for being here and once again please share the videos so we can help lots of other people you never know who needs a little help and who needs this information and once again i always point out the join button over here on the right hand side and that's so you can become a member of the channel and members of the channel receive special messages under the community tab and they receive one or two videos per month on the community tab and on the Wednesday night lives in the chat room only members with the icon can actually be in the chat room everybody else can just watch the live stream all right without further ado it's another fintech ladies and gentlemen and I just wanted to point something out you may notice the screen is a little bit different this time because on the channel in case you don't know how to search for other videos if you go to youtube.com backward slash stop struggling now and on to the right side you'll see the eyeglass here and you type in like I typed in fintech the reason why I brought this up is because here's a video new way to get credit with fintech banks this is 11 months ago when other people may have been sleeping about fintechs we were already starting to talk about fintechs almost over a year ago or close to a year ago so therefore no hard inquiry no credit checks in order to get credit building products you already knew about it so this is nothing new to you but we're going to talk about sable one today because of course another bank has come out and by the way they're using coastal community bank blue vine the reason why there's a wait list is because they are changing from the bank corp to also coastal community bank starting August 1st so therefore look for blue vine checking and now blue vine checking is a business account and now Sable one is a personal account and they're also going to be with the same bank therefore I believe in the future they're going to have lending products similar to revenue based or what you're depositing into your personal account with Sable One. Now, let's get into Sable One because there's a couple of phases that I want to talk about. First, we're going to talk about you have a free checking savings account. They do not do check systems, there really isn't any verification. They basically check your social security number and address just to make sure I guess it matches up somehow they have their own verification system but they don't do a soft inquiry they don't do a hard inquiry this is how you get a Sable One debit MasterCard when you have the Sable One debit MasterCard this allows you to also roll into their secured credit builder card as well the program so we're gonna get into that so again no qualifications whether you're gonna get your checking account set up and you can get it done in five minutes or less right now 
unless of course there's going to be a run today because people are trying to sign up but nonetheless it should take five minutes or less it's been out already people will know about it now one last thing remember with these fintechs you're bypassing the credit bureaus and what I mean by bypassing is most of the time they want to have a soft inquiry or hard inquiry on the credit report in order to report to them the fintechs are trying to go around them this is going to be very interesting if in fact sable will be able to report to all three credit bureaus or if it's just going to be one credit bureau or two or none at all but they're saying it might be one or two months once you start out later in order to get it reported to the credit bureau for you so that's what you have to remember about this but again it's free it doesn't cost you anything and let's get into the debit card because again we like no fees at a bank we love this because you know if you have a bank like one of the big boys b of a wells fargo jp morgan they like for you to pay fees just for holding your money in their bank account and these fees aren't usually five bucks neither they're trying to do double digits like 10 15 20 25 dollars a month that's right a month to hold your money in their bank if you don't meet certain criteria now sable one say goodbye to fees of course they have a number one down there there's always some you know some sort of exemption but monthly fees zero minimum balance requirement zero overdraft and insufficient fees zero foreign transaction fees zero we like the sound of that and see these other banks how they charge exactly they do now protecting your purchases why because you have they're covering it up but you have a mastercard logo on the card so that helps you with your spending and buying and don't have to worry and again our satisfaction guarantee means you're covered if you become dissatisfied with a new product within 60 days of purchase just keep that in mind it's not 90 it's not 180 they even give you one percent cash back on certain purchases and they show a few here that's pretty good too for a debit card a lot of debit cards and ATM cards give you that and of course this FDIC thing the FDIC is not solvent so if there was a run on the bank where people needed all their money they, the FDIC doesn't have enough so disregard that so uh, every bank says that and again lost or stranded during travel what's very interesting is you have cards that's on the app virtual cards so even if you did lose your card you may be able to use your virtual card in order to still uh, purchase if you did lose your card or get stranded so again that's very helpful this is just like a normal bank except the fintechs have it all together they took a poll and said hey what do you like and what do you dislike about banks and it seems to me they've got it pretty much covered all fintechs are going to do this, but the big deal is can they get to report when you turn it into a secured type of card, which we're going to discuss in a second. So again, I'm going to have a link down below where you can actually sign up with Sable One. You're going to download the app, but anyhow, down below in the description, I'll have the link. Go sign up, and then everybody has a referral link once you sign up, so you can actually promote this to other people, and again, for all the people that may have a problem with checking accounts, this is not one of them because Sable One doesn't do check systems. And they don't, as far as I can tell, they don't do any other check verifications. So now a person can have a checking account. All right. Here's the other things. Basic features. We already did it. Rewards and benefits. We didn't go over all the rewards that you'll get. But, you know, it's basically if you shop at a certain location, they'll give you 1% cash back. And then the travel emergency, that's an added bonus, quite frankly. And now, down below in the description, I'm going to move over to the building credit part with the secured credit card. And how many times have you heard about a secured credit card that will allow you to have a minimum deposit of maybe $20, $10, $20, $50 as a secured portion of your credit card. Well, Sable One, they're allowing you to have a minimum of like $10 in your secured account. No credit check, get approved in five minutes. Once you get that MasterCard approval, you go to your balances and then it will ask you if you want to do anything with a secured card. That's how simple it starts. 
So like they're saying here, you are good to go in about five minutes because it's your own money, first of all. And they are a fintech bank, no credit check. So you're building another banking relationship and anything that's going to report to your credit file without you having to do a hard inquiry, that's a win. And if somebody says they, they'll take 20, 30, 50 bucks, 10 bucks to get you an account that's going to report to the credit bureau, that's another win. Now, keep in mind, I suspect they're going to be like the Tomo credit card. I suspect this is like 1950s all over again, where you're going to have a payment due within a certain amount of time, whether that's 15 days, 30 days. But they're not going to roll it over, except in the Sable case, I believe they are going to roll it over, but you know what's going to happen then? You're going to have to pay some interest. And the interest is not going to be pretty. It's not going to be 1% or 3% or 5% or 0%. We know that. So let's get on to it. Zero annual fees. We like that. Of course, they have a number one there. So we'll have to go find out what that is. Build credit history. They're claiming it's a real credit card. And once again, this is a fintech. No credit check. No hard inquiry. We'll find out if they're going to be able to report. But again, it's worthwhile. Refundable deposit. You decide the deposit amount, which becomes equal to your credit limit. If you deposit one thousand, your credit limit will be a thousand. Note the deposit is fully refundable. So now they're giving you another feature that nobody else would have. Where if you deposited one thousand, they're claiming that you can drop down your uh, uh, deposit amount to a lower amount and lower your credit limit, which is very interesting. And again, they reiterate: no credit check, not even a soft pull. But they will need your documents like your social security or your passport. Social security number or passport. So take your pick. Now, instead of 1% cash back, they're claiming 2% cash back if you go to Amazon, Whole Foods, Uber Eats, Netflix, Spotify, Hulu. And then 1% back on other. Hey, any percent back is a win. And again, MasterCard. No hidden charges. Here's that number one again. But look here. Even though they have zero annual fees zero foreign transaction fees APR rate of prime whatever the prime rate is plus 6.99 APR you can look it up on a daily what the uh, prime interest rate is and then add 7% on top of that that's what they're going to be charging you if you roll over from their payment plan I'm pretty sure it's going to be a month or a couple of weeks but if you keep a balance they're going to act just like a regular old credit card you're going to pay interest on it So therefore, you want to turn this into a charge card where you're paying it before it's due. It's that simple. Here it is. How does a secured card work? Down below, I'll have a link to this as well, even though it's on the same website, sablecard.com. But I might do two separate links, one for the debit, one for the credit card. Here we go. Deposit any amount of money into your account to start. That is the amount you can spend on your Sable One secured credit card. Did you see that? Any amount, I think $10 is minimum. Now, spend anywhere, MasterCard is accepted. Unlike other secured cards, you get rewards, cash bets, and benefits with every purchase. I like the sound of this. What a fintech this is. Regularly send payment information to the credit reporting agents to help build your credit score over time. We're, this is the jury's out on this because... They're trying to stop anybody being able to improve their credit score going around them. They want certain things. That's the credit bureaus I'm referring to. So once again, they have their, you see it, basic features, reward benefits, travel. Oh, and I almost forgot. The number one. Here we go. We're going to have to go find out what this is about. Here's the terms for the number one. Remember those fees? If you have a return payment, they're going to charge you $30. And if you want a MasterCard where they have to expedite it to you, that's $20. And again, your due date is at least 21 days after the close of each billing cycle. So if you're not familiar with that, let's just say your billing date was the first of the month. They're saying that you're going to get a bill on the first, but it's due 21 days later. That's what they're saying. We will not charge you any interest on purchases if you pay your entire balance by the due date each month. That's what I was telling you. If you don't pay it, 
they're going to charge you prime plus seven percent interest that's how simple this is now i'll have other links down below it's that simple for other ways to build your credit and once again in 2021 we're trying to build credit without a hard inquiry without a credit check so therefore we're going to have the extra card debit card down below as well that allegedly will report we're going to keep the credit strongs down below credit strong we're going to keep the self lender links down below as well because they do no hard inquiry so therefore that's still good for us and I'm going to add a whole bunch of others down below so you can try the uh, Victoria's Secrets overstock soft inquiry. Uh, look at the video, how you can do the shopping cart trick. For those, you can give that a shot. Six out of ten people get approved. But again, down below, I'll have more links for these fintech companies. One Finance is also in play. There are a bunch now. And there's going to be more coming. Let's just face facts. Because if they're able to report like they say they are, like for instance, Tomo Credit Card. They don't report to all three. That's where the situation comes in hand. They're reporting to one, but not all three as far as I know. But any reporting just by using a regular old debit card or even a, a secured card such as this nature, this flexible secured card that Sable One has come up with, is a beautiful thing. So with all that said, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And please like, subscribe, and click the bell below so you get the latest updates. And I know it's hard out here. And that is why you still constantly should be adding to your credit file. Nothing can hurt you when it does not cost you anything to add it other than you depositing money, whether it's $10 or more, into the Sable One account, and now they will report to which credit bureaus, I do not know, but it works just like a debit card, so it does not matter, and you get cash back, so I kind of like this, if it works, it works, if it doesn't, it doesn't, but at least you have a banking account, you have to have an actual way to possibly get reporting, so therefore, this is very, very powerful. And once again, the fintechs are coming through and there is going to be more coming. So keep your head up, keep moving, and I'm out.